The landline. I'm connected. I've got a mobile anyway, so. Kind of a cubbyhole bathroom, just enough room to fart. And then, yep. single bed, window, kitchen, stroke, kitchenette, actually, area, all slightly depressing. And this is Paul. Say hi, Paul. He won't say hi. Uh, what's he doing? Well, he's not doing anything, is he? He's just sitting there. Cutlery, crockery, the electricals, kettle, toaster. Yeah, um, can you hear us? Microwave, the medicals. Uh, Mrs. Monroe? Saskia. Yeah, uh, can you hear us? Didn't they tell you? Uh, no, no, uh, I, I, I mean, all I, know, all I know is they cancelled all my clients and now I'm looking after your Mr. Monroe. Paul, did they not tell you anything? Because showing you around, uh, this isn't my job. I have my job. I'm not even meant to be here. Anyway, it's not your fault. So, pills, thermometers, creams. Once a day, back of the legs, small of the back, you know the stuff. For bed sores? Blankety blank, checkbook and pen. <laughs> At six-ish, seven-ish, the timesheet says it's quarter to seven, but honestly, Theo, he's in a self-elected coma, so do it whenever. Pop Paul into the bed, turn lights out, turn lights on, doesn't matter, probably vary it. Yep. Burgers beware. Not that we've anything to nick, except the game itself. Uh, is that what he's doing? What? Why is he wearing a headset? Wow, I'm amazed. <laughs> All I was told was the address. It's a total immersion computer game. You hear the beep, it's on. Ugh. Even he can't find a way to mute that, and he's a games tester. It's programmed to pause itself every three days, so send him on a walk. Right. He might be a bit resistant because the game's pretty addictive. Okay. Walk, comes back, give him a sandwich or a, or a fajita or a wrap, brush teeth, then back under he goes, and I expect that's you for the day. Right. So buy a book. <laughs> Teach yourself Spanish. It's just going to be lads, lads, lads. Right. I like your face, Theo. Oh, uh, thanks. Well, not that much. But if I didn't, I'd be ringing around for another care agency. So, if the supervisor asks, I was livid. <laughs> yeah, uh, fumes and devil horns and... Precisely. The only language they understand. <laughs> oh, that's me. Over and out. Okay. Hello? Mr. Monroe? Uh, I, I'm, I'm Theo. I'm your carer. Oh, uh, flowers. That was Saskia. Am I, am I the... Am I... Coffee smelling? Uh, yeah, I've put some coffee on. Oh, uh, do you... Uh, standing, of course. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, do you mind if standing for help for a moment? <laughs> you want me to help you out? Yes, uh, yeah, uh, oh, nah. oh. Adjusting is hard <laughs> for the brain. You're using the brain differently for the game than from the... Uh, take your time. I've, uh, I've made a sandwich. <sighs> didn't know what you like, so I did bacon. Super. Superstar. <laughs> super. Superstar. Oh. OK. It's coming back now, I think. <laughs> What's that? Must be the neighbour's daughter. Yeah, she's been murdering it all week. I mean, it's not you. You can't hear it in the game, can you? No, it's pretty much a kind of hermetic seal. Uh, what is it? Hmm? Oh, just because I'm, I'm here all day, most days. I started wondering if it's zombie hunting or, you know, spaceships. Whatever. Love. Love? It's your first love all over again. Is that it? That's it. Um, oh, if I'm going out for a jog... Yeah, there's a bag by the front door with your trainers, T-shirts, shorts and stuff. Just chuck it in the corner when you're back and I'll put a wash on. Legend. Cheers, Theo. The field flashes green and gold. Then, as a cloud's edge skims the sun, well, the green and gold are silver for a second, like trout in a stream. Leaves? Well, a skylark, <laughs> climbing the wind currents like ledges. There must be a brook nearby. Behind the trees, maybe? And everywhere summer. 
and I'm 16. And then, walking from school, in an afternoon that's drawn out and dawdling in all directions, warm on the backs of our school blazers, two girls walk, and one girl catches my eye. Her hair flashes red. A glance. One eyebrow ticks up, almost recognition. And then her friend. Sophie, are you listening? Sophie. The game, pause, end. You are playing the game tutorial. Would you like to save progress in empty slot as new game, game tutorial, 8% complete? Don't save. Don't save. Your progress will not be saved. Right, mate. Oh, I'm fine. Is that sweat? Oh, no, no, just uh, water from the tap. No, through your shirt. Oh, <laughs> I hadn't noticed. Sorry. Saskia probably packed some T-shirts somewhere, I think. Maybe in a... Oh, yeah, they're in the, the drawer at the foot of the bed. There you go, then. I'll jump in the bath. Hot day, isn't it? It's probably why you, uh... Yeah, probably. Cool bananas. After my bath, I might skip breakfast, get back to Sophie. Sophie? The game. The girl in the game. And that's who the game's about. As you said, they're in the drawer at the foot of the bed. The T-shirts. Right. OK. Thank you for calling Summer Long Games. Your call is important to us. For a whole day, I stare at Paul. The insinuation of a smile in the corner of his mouth. I get an image I can't shake. Something lodged in my throat. Thumping. But something full of movement. Complaints? Oh, uh, no, no, um, not, not complaints. I need to speak to someone about a game you're going to release called... He's with her. Every day I massage his feet and legs to prevent cramps. I work ointment into his arse cheeks and thighs to prevent bed sores. I wipe his backside and I fix new nappies. I cut his nails. And when the time comes, I take some money from the petty cash and I buy some clippers for his hair. And he's in there, with her. And I'm out here. On hold. Ah. Oh. Oops. Little nick there. Spot of blood. But did you feel that? Paul? Paul? Oh. Thank you for calling Summer Lock. Hello, you're through to public relations. Uh, one second, wait! Hello? Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, you're on speaker. Oh, you still there? What's your name? Theo. How can I help you, Theo? Look, about 18 months ago, I did these sort of interviews with a research company. Okay. They were collecting data for a game they were making. And what was the name of the company, Theo? Uh, I don't know, some, some sort of meaningless name thing. I'm popping this all down onto the system, and what will happen is, yeah, yeah. what will happen is, Theo, um, is we'll have your query looked into and then call you back. Is this we a good number for you, Theo? No, no, oh, uh, it, it's urgent. I've been on hold here almost a week. Urgent. So, uh, the trials? Yeah, so I, I did them for about six weeks, doing these interviews about, um, well, they were interested in first loves. Sorry, and... dear, sorry. I thought I'd bring some flowers. Oh, sorry. Uh, hello? Uh, no, 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 it's... Go on. No, don't hang up. No, no, it's OK. Hello? See ya. Oh, haircut. Uh, uh, abysmal, right? Um, I don't usually, you know... Yeah, it's, 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 it's lovely. Just worried some of the older kids might pick on him. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a nasty little nick there, though. Uh, yeah, the, what, the clippers were, um... Can you get me a bit of kitchen towel or something? Sure. Um, yeah, no, don't use those clippers again. If they... Hell, that's a real bite. Sorry. No, it's not your fault, but take them back. Sure. Use the scissors for the rest. I'm a bit, yeah. Well, I'll do it. I'll put the kettle on. <laughs> Can I ask? Uh, this game, uh, the game he's... Well, it's about you and this girl you meet. That's my understanding. Because with Paul being a games tester... No consultant, really, but yeah. Right, so if he gives his OK to a game he's testing... What? It, well, then what happens then? It's good to go. Usually they do quite well. 
Oh, well. Massive gaming is set to overtake the movie and holiday industries in the next five years or so, combined, that is. And love stories are a, a new avenue. It's milk and wine, by the way, when you get to it. But don't you think it's cheating? Cheating? Yeah. It's only a cup of tea, Theo. It's not a grey area, like a weekend in Prague or oral sex. Uh, no, I mean... Oh, no, I know. The game. Oh, God, I don't know. I... The way I see it, people fall in love with almost anything. They can fall in love with real people or things or whatever. Or they can fall in love with imaginary things like made up people or Narnia and Hogwarts or. Milk and one? A small one, yeah. Not a. Yeah, that's uh -oh. it. <laughs> and I'd prefer he fell in love with some fictionalised girl in a daydream than a workmate or someone through Facebook. Plus, he gets to come out and fall in love with me all over again when it's over, doesn't he? Doesn't he? The lucky bugger. He'll have his fun and he'll miss me. I'm very missable. And you're not jealous? Nah, she dies anyway. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> did you see the love heart he did on the wall by the shower? Uh, no. Her name and a love heart. Sophie. I didn't see it. So, seeing that when you're on the loo, I mean, okay, so there's a little jealousy. But however you play it, apparently she dies at the end. <laughs> there's these woods and she dies in the woods. What happens in the woods? <sighs> mm. Eaten by owls. She left flowers again. Saskia? Yeah. They're nice. They're, um... Am I losing weight? Huh? I'm not, am I? Uh, I can pick you up some scales, if you like. Yeah, maybe. Sure. Ask, um, Sophie. Saskia. Saskia, right, uh, for cash. And, uh, did you need any more cream for bed sores and stuff? I don't think so. Why? Uh, when I was in the bath just now, I... It's not a biggie, but, um... On my thighs, where I've been sitting. Oh, yeah, it's not a biggie. Uh, no, but yeah, uh, definitely. I'll. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Look, I was a. Uh, I was looking at your diary. Um, I meant to keep a diary for you. Uh, meds, food, exercise. Uh huh. I think I might be up against it if your runs keep sort of diminishing. Oh. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. So, uh, what's a good run? I think, and I, I totally get it, and I have zero problem with this, but because you've been getting more into the game, you've lost exercise minutes here and there, and, you know, we should really be aiming for you know, 25 minutes minimum. OK. Like I say, I've got no problem with it. No, no. But a <laughs> supervisor... No, sure. I, I guess I'd better be, well, shuffling off then. <laughs> you, right, yeah. <laughs> and 25 minutes doesn't include warm-ups. Good morning, Paul. Would you like to continue from last save point or start new game? Uh, continue from last save point. Continuing from last save point. Loading. Oh, uh, game. Turn off automatic saving. The day is white and bright blue. Like a toothpaste commercial. Oh, frost on the window. And I'm in sheets. Tangled warmly. Her body breathing at my side. Every pore is raw and popping and hers. We are together. Hang on, this... This is her aunt's flat in Seaford. <laughs> I remember it, Sophie. Mm. Hello, Donut. <laughs> look at me. Love, love, look at me. Morning. <laughs> You're right. It's you. It is you. Every bit of you is you. Your ribs are you. Your sides. Your arms. Oh, you, oh, your arms are you. Your, your armpits are you. Your stomach and your hips. And roll over. Really? Every. Oh, you, your back and your moles and your hair. Well, you, you said it's slightly different, but only like you've changed shampoo or something. Is this stock tape going to be a usual thing? I don't know how they put you here. Is it definitely you? 
I don't know. Depends who you mean. Sophie Turner. Turnbull. <laughs> yeah, I suppose they might have done that, yeah. Studying music. Music, sociology and photography. You dropped... Anthropology. Four was too much. You live with your... Mum, older sister. <laughs> have you had a stroke in the night? <sighs> oh, I'm better. Better than ever. I mean, look at you. You're alive. I, I don't understand. <laughs> it's okay. A bad dream. Don't, don't worry. I don't care because I'm fine. I'm here and you're here and... I'm, I am fine. Good, because it would be a shame if you were drunk this early. I love you, Sophie. I love you too, Paul. Paul. What is it? End Paul? game. Talk to me. End. Paul. Get me out of here. Would you like to save progress? No. No. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Paulie. Happy birthday to you and many more. <laughs> it's a shame he didn't want to be up and about for it. Hmm? No, I wasn't here. Just flowers and coffee and saying hello. Hello. And then I'm, I'm like a ninja, a very boundary sensitive ninja. <laughs> I mean, of course, we like each other, we love each other, but it's not like we were made in the same pot out of the same gunge. And this is his stuff and his space. I. <sighs> I don't want to see him until he's done. <laughs> oh, we forgot to put candles. Yeah, I mean, no, there's, there's all these love hearts <clears> now, <throat> and the walls, his furniture. I was, I was down the park last time, presumably where he goes running, and there's, there's love hearts and trees and benches and. I don't know. This is like a binge for him, like a like a last drug and booze binge. <laughs> Sorry, he said something to change the subject, and I snaffled it back up. The subject. Uh, no, I just uh, said about candles, that's all. Mm. How old is he? 47. Put four. Um, yeah, I'll put five. No, rounding up. <laughs> Are you... What? You realise that I'm, I'm closer to his age than yours. Hey, I'll put four. <laughs> I hope they burn you. <laughs> you can't be nearly his age. I'm not nearly his age. I said I'm closer to his age than yours. <laughs> oh, I forgot cards. Don't bother doing anything with them. He can hang them or whatever if he really wants to. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it's nice you come by. Uh, drop off flowers and the cake and stuff. Dude, I'm awesome. <laughs> I'm an awesome woman. <laughs> Theo, you're looking at me funny. Am I? <laughs> yes. Stop looking at me like I'm an awesome woman. <laughs> I'm not. Stop looking at me like you're enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's having a good birthday. Are you... Are you driving home tonight? Or can we open a bottle? What? I was just thinking. Uh, what were you just thinking? I was just thinking, oh dear. You changed the bedsheets? Oh. Sorry? The bedsheets? <clears throat> um, uh, yeah, they, they've been the same for a week, so, yeah. I don't recognise these, though. They're new. Plus, they're Transformers, which, um, ha, well, <laughs> I'm not complaining about as such, but... Uh, well, there was a mess. Yeah. Um, you, you messed yourself, so I... Oh, um, I see. Yeah, I went down to the Martlets Hospice charity shop thing and, I don't know, didn't really think about it. It's all right. I mean, there's only so many single duvet sets and uh, the only sets they had were... I understand. For, you know, it was either Transformers or some sort of my little pony experience. Sorry. So, um, uh, right. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... I had to throw the other set away. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, there are no flowers. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, they'd begun kind of dying, so... Saskia didn't drop off any? Um, no. Or cards or anything? Cards? No, it's okay. <laughs> huh. Do we... Do we get posts delivered here ever, directly? Uh, 
Not unless you mean flyers, no. Well, if anything arrives. Definitely. I'll leave it by the bars. I can buy some flowers if you like. No. No, it's okay. Yeah, brighten up the room. No, Maybe okay. I'll do that. No, it's okay. Okay, uh, we, you have a nice run. Thanks. Oh, um, one other thing. You haven't touched my game, have you? Sorry? Nothing. It's just the, um, uh, what's it, the automatic save was turned off. I couldn't remember if that was me or... Oh, 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 no, I, I don't know. It must have been me. Well, maybe there's a blip. Probably. Tell you what, when you take the afternoon off, you must be going out of your head in here all day. That's all right. No, it's all right. Oh, I don't mind. Nor do I, Theo. OK, yeah. Um, when do you want me back? You go and have fun somewhere. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Uh... Right you are. Morning. Got you some uh, some bits and bobs. Yeah, so, uh, like some ointment. And uh, oh, but I also got bread, bread and coffee. Paul. Back this afternoon. Don't turn off headset. It's charging. Paul. Oh. And out without your keys. This was unexpected. <laughs> oh, I, I got the fire. And uh, do you want a blanket? I, I, I can get out of the camper van. It's not even cold. <laughs> no, but uh, you know, when the sun goes down, uh, the wind in off the sea. It... You're fussing over me. I'm not dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. No, I'm just happy to be with you. I've... I was missing you. Since yesterday. Um, Sophie. Yes, Paul. Ah! I keep... It keeps disappearing. Uh, Theo. Uh, Theo. Right. <laughs> I can't go back to Paul. You don't look like a Theo. <laughs> um, I, I prefer Theo. Are you happy, Theo? Yes. Tell your face about it, then. That's, that, that was your mum, wasn't it? <laughs> that was her stock phrase for about ten years. Every time, really pleased, like she just thought of it. <laughs> I don't remember telling you that. Um, it was a long time ago. I come to every 30 minutes to check in case Paul's hammering at the door. And my hands, which are older than my hands in the game, draw heart shape onto the surface with ground coffee. And me writing it. Yes. It was an ad I saw online. Well paid, uh, three hours of questions in the morning, two in the afternoon, and six weeks wired up to a laptop. Yeah, free accommodation, cans of lager and takeaways in the evening, but uh, it wasn't just me. But I was the only one who. Do you want to go home? Sweetheart. <clears throat> um, but when, uh, when we get home... Yeah. You know that river? Your shortcut through the woods. And the river there. Why are you bringing this up? Look, Sophie, I... In a few days, Sophie, you're gonna... You're gonna walk that route and... You're kind of spooking me slightly, Paul. <laughs> I I'm sorry, um... No, that's all. I'm... I'm just really sorry. I mean, I'm petrified. <laughs> you can see my hand shaking. I'm... I'm terrified, Sophie, that I'm... I'm going to let you down. Because I do. I did. And all this is meaningless. Be because... You drowned there. I didn't drown anywhere, Paul. Theo! Theo! No, no, but... You will. No, but I won't, Paul. You don't, you don't know it yet, but we go through that wood and and we're pissing about and your bag goes in the river. But it's kind of floating. Paul. So you try... You try and get it. But you... Paul. 
No, please, because... I let you drown, Sophie. I, I watched you keep going for your school bag because it was kind of floating a bit or caught on something and, and you kept going for it and it it kept going under with you because of you the weight and every time you kind of came up again it was the, the first thing you saw again and it it was over and over it was it, it looked like madness it looked like you, you scared me you repulsed me you repulsed me. You actually repulsed me. Paul, I haven't drowned. You have. You have. I let you. It was my fault. And I was... I was rooted to the tree and I just wanted it to stop. I wanted you to stop. I watched you, wishing you stopped going to that bag. And... I didn't jump in because... That would have been me. <laughs> That's what I thought. Donut, look at me. I didn't drown. You jumped in and saved me. Quick as anything, quick as a flash. You jumped in, scooped me up under my arms, and you pulled me and my bag to the bank. No, we... I don't follow. It was on Monday. Yeah. Monday the 17th. That was ten days ago. <laughs> Paul, you saved my life. Don't you remember? Where? How can you have done that bit there? How can you? That's... This is just... Well, well, what's this? What are we doing now? How can you have completed that? That's, that's the end of the story. That's... Paul? No, Theo! What's your password? What? In order to continue, could you tell me your password, please? What password? At the end of the tutorial, you were asked to input your character name in an 11-character password. Would you like to be reminded of your prompt question? Uh, yes? Your prompt question has been sent to your named email account. Sophie, please, it's me! Please exit the game and log into your email account to access... Sophie, look at me, OK? I'm not Paul, but I'm Theo. You don't know Paul, you please know me. Please exit the game and Listen, log listen, you're... You're a mash-up of my memories. Not just my conscious ones. They... The, the reason they know that you play with your fingers like that is, is because of my subconscious. I never told them. They... I need you. You might have memories. I, you are memories. I don't. I can't just... Please exit the game and log into your email account. OK, shut up. Sh game exit. I've been waiting for you to come round. Oh, God. Theo, you can't be using your client's things or... You just, you just give me... Just give me a moment. We don't have a moment, Theo. Mr. Monroe is on his way. But I, I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna save any changes. What? But everything about the game is exactly as he left it. You think I care about the bloody game? Mr. Monroe has emailed Jacqueline photos of bed sores on the backs of his thighs, well, Theo. Well he jiggles. What? He, he jiggles about while he plays. I've tried putting him in cotton pajamas, but he jiggles his legs against a chair while he plays. They rub. He jiggles? Like a sleeping dog when they think they're running, you know? This place is a tip. It's like you guys are squatting. Hey, he, he asked me to go last night. Wait. Wait, when did he ring you? If he wanted to take us to court for criminal negligence, Theo... But this is not true. It's not true. When did he contact Jacqueline? It's not about Jacqueline. It's about business. I'll talk to him. It won't come to that. It won't come to that because, A, you won't talk to him and, B, you'll take anything that's yours and leave now. A surge of hot queasiness flooding my throat splashing over whatever it is that's lodged in there like a like an egg sac seething and straining oh my god it really is just shitting it down out there theo is there a, a, a towel or anywhere yeah. Yeah. i'm not being a, oh hi i'm saskia i'm teresa i'm from the agency oh, god. is this paul what's he said uh towel thanks theo copper God, yeah. Teresa? Uh, uh, no. Uh, no. I'm afraid, Mrs. Monroe, I found Theo using some of Mr. Monroe's personal belongings. Oh, is this the game? Look, I'm not being passive-aggressive when I say this, but I genuinely don't care. But, look, I know, Paul, gamers get obsessed. It's part of the fun of gaming. Did Mr. Monroe contact you? I've had to turn my phone off. 
I mean, I haven't spoken to him. That's my choice. While he's more in the game than he is in the world, I'm not engaging. But Theo's the man I trust. That's good of you to say. Theo? How is he? Uh, well, most of his head isn't in this world at the moment. That's all I need to know. Milk and a small one? Thank you. The problem is, our client is Mr Monroe, not well, you. Well, it comes out of the joint bank account, so... Ah. <laughs> and while he's in his self-elected coma, I'm the signatory of all transactions, so... Ah. So, he can have Theo. <laughs> or he can sit there cleaning up his own underpants, as far as I'm concerned. This has been very useful. Well, I'm happy to sign something to that effect, too. Milk and one? Oh, lovely. I had a friend who was moved into one of these pokey little flats years ago when I was 17. She got ill. One of those um, genetic motor neurony things that sort of, that's a sort of slow car crash. Oh, it's not. That's a ridiculous and hurtful thing to say. And people live rich and fulfilling lives, no, no, no. But standing outside, it was like watching, it felt like watching someone in a car crash in slow motion slowly compacted. It's not a nice thing to say. <clears throat> oh, sir. It's okay. That's what it felt like when I was 19, anyway. Maybe now I... I don't know, but... Okay. And because I was, you know, finishing A-levels and whatever, it was easy to fudge excuses and go off to university and conveniently be busy every summer and winter. Prior to which, and this is a quirky fact, I'd had zero interest in further education. It's amazing how far cowardice can get you. But, um, what happened to her? Nothing. I presume she's still there. Oh. I was too scared when it mattered, and I'm, I'm still scared, and it still matters. Paul did send me photos of the bed sores. They're bad. Oh, um... That something very bad has happened to a woman that I love. I think I've just been distracted. What well, has happened or is happening? Is. A, a relationship thing, is it? Sort of abusive relationship thing, yeah. She doesn't want to be in it, but she can't leave. Then do what I do and bury yourself in your work. <laughs> I have to go. Yeah. Someone keyed my car with one of those bloody love heart things. Paul did? No, no, someone in London when I was at work. A games tester? No, it'll just be another gamer, probably. Playing the same game, Mike for Sophie. But it hasn't been released yet. You said not to leave green lights it. No, I said that's the process, but he's not testing this game. He released it about three weeks ago, I think. He's been playing it for a couple months. They just gave him a copy before the official release date. Some people get early copies. Everyone's playing it already? I don't know. I haven't seen the top ten sellers, but I'm kind of seeing these love hearts everywhere. He's not testing the game? No, he doesn't need to. He was one of the designers. It was kind of his brainchild. Anyway, we'll get to hang out again in a couple of days. If you, if you like. Would you like? Definitely. I'm liking this. Whatever this is. Me too. <laughs> oh, I hope things pick up for your friend in the relationship. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Hello. You is me? Yeah. This is Summer Long Games. Uh, we had a request to call you back regarding... Yeah, your... that's that's right. Uh, now, on my notes, it says you've been experiencing sleepwalking. Uh, no, no, that's not what I was... There have been a number of reports of this recently. It's nothing to worry about. Yeah, Gamers I... occasionally wander, are found wandering in the garden, or even taking a shower. Obviously, there's no cause for alarm if you're being supervised, but slippery trips to the shower could obviously be dangerous, so we recommend um, that... How... We... Sorry, how, lo how often does this happen? Uh, how often? Sleepwalking. Theo. 
Evening, Paul. Oh, I, I didn't know whether to wait or, or not, but uh, as I was here and uh, you, didn't, you didn't give a time. So, uh, did anyone come by today? Do you need me to do you any food or, or a sandwich or...? No. I thought your supervisor would come by. She um, rang to say they do observations or something. I don't know if that's... Um... Oh, sorry. I mean, you see... Yeah. No, you're all right. No one came by. You didn't need to talk to her about anything, did you? No. Good. Well, uh, you're all set to go. Go ahead and plug yourself in. I'll just... Uh... It's not a pain. I should start scrubbing some of these love hearts off the wall. <laughs> I might not play tonight. I don't know. Go on. I've got to clean all this stuff off all night anyway, so you don't need to sit around watching that. Pop yourself down and get comfy. Huh. Oh, and uh, I brought flowers. Look. Horror. Dumping in my throat. And the egg sac rippling. Okay. Oh boy. Come on. Picturing the small insects up against the amber skin of its wall. Like Chinese shadow puppets in lantern light. You don't need to stop playing away, boy. You just say hi to something. Until the flesh breaks open and the legs begin protruding. Small, glistening animals. There we go. And under. Oh. You know, you can't just help yourself to other people's lives. Not everything's a bloody commodity. No, 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 no. Don't fight back. I mean, I don't mind holding you under if that makes it easier. Yeah? Okay. I mean, that was your choice. A picture of scuttling sea, glistening, pin sharp legs transporting barely visible bodies, breaking out across my throat and lungs like a gas. <laughs> Sophie's bag, returning to the surface over and over. And I feel these little black legs of the hatch, something surging to my throat up and up for air and. Cowardice gushes through me on a thousand tiny legs. Pull! Wake, wake up! Pull! Let's get this off you! Come on! Okay. Look at me. Yeah? Here? Here? What happened? What, uh, what, uh, what are you doing? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I just came by and you went in your room and you, you were underwater and. No, you have to watch me. I know, man. I oh, know, but I'm sorry. Watch me, yeah? T totally. Look, I'm here. I'm here. Help me out. Afterwards, I'm sick in the basin. I stay with Mr. Monroe for 36 hours after that. I tend to him with trembling hands. As my confidence recovers, I begin thinking about Saskia. She might already love me. Doing bacon, you're in, come through. You're up. Ah, I totally lost the thread. Did the whole river school bag situation, saved her, which was pretty straightforward. Then progressed to the next level where there was, well, got pretty complicated after that. I don't know if there is actually a completion. I think it just gets too hard. I think that's the point almost. Simon finished it. Hi, love. Hi. Si Simon never finished it. He did. He was talking to Flick. Don't get competitive. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I just. Oh, it's just, it's just Simon got to keep his. Not real girl, and I didn't. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, he didn't, though. Ignore him, Theo. All I'm saying... Oh, hmm? shh. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee, Theo? Yeah, uh, no, no. I'll do you one. No, I uh, don't. I'm not thirsty. Oh, I just realised. I don't know how you like it. Just... Black Which Simon? Simon Hubbard? Okay. Yeah, Simon Hubbard. I saw Flick at a vintage fair. Anyway, he took a couple of months off to play, apparently, but it doesn't matter, Paulie, because life's not a competition. Well, uh, this is all a surprise. Don't worry, we'll, we'll pay you till the end of the week. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, I thought that was... No, I didn't mean to be condescending, if that sounds... A couple of months? I don't know, a period of time, unspecified. Yeah, but did Flick say a couple of months, or was that just you speculating? Maybe he's just better than you, Paul. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I might ring him. We're seeing them for dinner later, just ask him then. Two minutes. 
Don't get competitive. Where did I put my phone? By ah. the flowers. Okay. Two seconds, Theo. Uh, yeah. Simon, you bastard. Look, um, next week I've, I've got four days off, so I'm going to leave the agency. I was thinking, um, well, I, I should make changes, positive changes to my life. So That's I'm, great. Yeah, so maybe if you're free, if you want, for, I don't know, for a cup of coffee or relationship. Theo. Uh, maybe just an affair at first. See how you feel. <sighs> Theo, genuinely, I... I really, thoroughly, I have loved the time we've spent together. It's okay. I wasn't expecting to just turn up and, you know, stare on a plate. Just... It, was, it was just... Theo, you're sweet, but it was just dressing up boxes. You're not like me and Paul. You've got such a simple little life down here, and I just wanted to pretend I was a, I was a character in that life for a bit. I, I kind of wanted a selfish little taste of your life. Lighting up bits of me I forgot lit up, but... Um, me too. Since I was a teenager. Yeah, just to borrow you for a bit? Feel that way? Pretend. Not pretend, but... It's like little holidays. I have to go. Theo? Apparently, the bastard did complete it. Oh, you only stand for breakfast? Uh, uh, no. Oh, but don't hurry off, right? Yeah, you saved my life. It's like you're part of the family. Did he say what what happens at the end? Who? Your friend. Oh, Simon's a wanker, ignore him. <laughs> uh, no, go on. No, oh, no, I think they ended up living in Tuscany somewhere in a farmhouse thing, possibly. And Sophie did watercolours, maybe he was a poet or something. And there was a, an orchard and a rope oh. swing. I definitely remember there was a rope swing. You know, a happy ending. Nice. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, Theo, my man. A present for you. No, seriously. Take it. Uh, won't you, well, you don't want to play with it again? I spend enough of my life staring at shining screens anyway. Plus, the best part of going away is appreciating the home you come back to in the end. Mm. Thank you, yes, absolutely <laughs> sickening. <laughs> Just don't play it for too long at any one time. People get ill like that. Someone died in Germany. Thanks. Really? Yeah, from exhaustion, from neglect. He just let himself sit there and wither away. <laughs> Game over. Player 2, you have been playing for 17 consecutive hours of a total gameplay time of 147.5 hours. Play again. This is your sixth attempt. Would you like to take a break? No. You have selected no. Play again? Yes. You have selected yes. Hey, I'm new here and... Sorry. Hi. My name's Sophie. Sophie. Please select your name. Theo. Hi, Theo. Do you mind if I sit here? Don't worry. It's just till the teacher finds me my own table. I won't be hanging around, annoying you forever. Your Perfect Summer on Sale Here was written by Ed Harris. Theo was played by Ben Tavasoli. Saskia by Claudie Blakely, Paul by Oliver Chris, and Sophie by Scarlett Brooks. Other parts were played by A.D. Allen, Nicola Ferguson, and Nick Underwood. The game music was by Abby Fry. The director was Jonquil Panting.